Hello everyone, my name is Fastcar, and this is about the tenth time I've tried to record this video. I keep on getting interrupted, or it starts raining, or something blows up in my video, so I have to keep on restarting. And it was raining, I took the time to patch up my world, get rid of some of the potholes. It might look a little bit nicer, the ocean isn't completely destroyed. So yeah, so, back to the video. In my last video, the I mean, a couple of videos ago, I posted a tutorial on how to make T&D cannons. And after I posted the video, I realized I built these not very smart. Like, these weren't built very efficiently at all. So I'm going to show you just a lot easier way to build this that is smaller and doesn't take as much time. So first off, get rid of that. Put that right there because that's just annoyingly stupid. Right there. Make it that long because I'm afraid I'm going to blow up the TNT cannon again. Okay, so right here, get rid of this redstone. And put seven repeaters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And repeaters don't transmit redstone signals sideways, so I'm not going to set off any of the TNT with these repeaters, even though it wouldn't really matter. So then this redstone right here will set off my TNT, and then I can just put a button right not right there. Oh yeah, and then curve the redstone right here so that redstone doesn't go into the block and set off the TNT. Like that. Now you just put the TNT right there. Load up like that. Oh yeah, also, it's a lot smaller. Not as weird looking as the other one. And I think it might work even better than before. Kind of. Oh, I didn't blow up my world this time. Ain't that fantastic. Now, for the double-decker, right here, I built another version of it, but you don't even need any repeaters except for the ones that power the... that charge up the TNT. This redstone just comes up here from this button right here. It's not activating this block because the button's down here. And this curve right here stops it from powering this block. And a redstone just comes right up here and powers all the TNT that's up here. Looks that nicer. A lot cleaner, a lot simpler of the uh, design. So I'm going to show you how it works. And also, I built a little creeper face for you guys to blow it up. I'll laugh if I shoot right over the creeper face. I'm not sure how powerful this thing is yet. But let's find out. And I shot right over it. That figure is... Go figure, huh? All right, let's put more blocks up here. I'm not even going to restart the video. I don't even care. I'm just going to redo it. Think this, this, did you guys think this is high enough? I think it's high enough. Now Creeper has a hat or whatever you want to call it. Let's load the TNT cannon again. Uh, also, you can load TNT in the very first spot compared to my first design where you couldn't load it right there. And then, like that. T placing TNT sounds really, really loud. Okay. Hopefully we hit it. Maybe. Yes! Bye bye creeper face. Wait, what is this over here? I didn't I didn't place this obsidian. Get rid of that. Why is this here? Wait, uh, signs. What do I say? <clears throat> you want to improve my designs? I'll improve your redstone designs with TNT. Mwahaha. Who said that? Who God is is that the guy that built these old TNT cannons and that blew up my printer? I hope he's not planning something else. I don't want him I don't want him to blow up any of my designs. I'm thinking about building some new designs like an elevator and other things that I can't recall right now. So yeah. Hopefully he doesn't blow this up. So that's the update from my crappy TNT cannons. I hope you like it. If you want to leave a comment, a like. Maybe even subscribe if you like it that much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.